Hi, Tomasz Pawłowski here. On behalf of the Qt Quality Assurance team, I'm glad to present the new feature introduced in Squish 7.2, the support for automating GUI tests on Qt for WebAssembly platform. Squish users were able to test Qt applications built on desktop systems like Windows, Linux, macOS, as well as embedded systems for many years. With Squish 7.2, it is now possible to test Qt applications on the Qt for WebAssembly platform. In this video, I'm going to show how to make a Qt for WebAssembly application testable with Squish. I will demo how to create a few example automated GUI tests and finally show that Squish is a true cross-platform tool by running created tests on different platforms. The Qt for WebAssembly module has been available for some time now. It enables you to run Qt applications on the web by using a web browser as a virtual machine. Web browser executes a binary VASP application module and generated JavaScript runtime application. To make a Qt for WebAssembly application testable with Squish, it needs to be instrumented. We offer a dedicated package, Squish for Qt for WebAssembly, just for that. It supports Qt-based applications running in a browser for Qt 6.4 and Qt 6.5. The first step is to add Qt built-in hook to your application project. Let me show you a modified project file, for example, coffee machine application. Second step is to use Squish for Qt for WebAssembly package for building your application. The main products of compilation are coffee VASP, coffee JS, and coffee HTML files. Please note that the same result can be achieved when using CMake instead of QMake. You can find out more about that in the installation instructions of Squish for Qt for WebAssembly and Squish Building Hook instrumentation chapter. Finally, we launch a web server with your Qt for WebAssembly application. We can now open a web browser, provide correct URL and use the application. From this point, we use the standard Squish for web package. I have already created a test suite with web as a UI toolkit. Currently, we support launching WebAssembly applications through Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. We do plan to extend this to other popular browsers in the future. After attaching to the web browser, the Qt application will appear as a dedicated application context in Squish. With the setup ready, it's good time to create a few example test cases. We provide full support for recording and replay of interactions, as well as the usual introspection capabilities known from automating Qt-based applications on other platforms. First, let's have a quick look at our demo application. It's a coffee application for the coffee vending machine. This app allows us to choose coffee. In the first test, we will verify that when making a coffee, we are asked to insert a cup into tray. So let's record interactions with the application. So we will make a cappuccino. And now we can verify object property, very similar to picking the object in the Qt application running on a standard platform. We can pick an object, so we'll pick the text object and we can check the text property that it has value please insert cup into the tray and save and insert verifications and click stop recording and we can replay the test case and check the results. In the second test case, we'll perform screenshot verifications. Let's verify if the image for the cappuccino is correct. We choose verify screenshots from the control bar We'll pick a cappuccino image and we'll make an expected screenshot and save and insert verification and stop the recording. Our expected image is stored in the verification point together with the object name. Now we can execute our test case. As you can see, automating GUI tests for Qt for WebAssembly applications is similar to automating Qt applications on other platforms. The same methods such as recording, application spying and test debugging can be used.
I will demonstrate now that squish tests are fully cross-platform by running them against the coffee application compiled for Windows. I have copied created test cases to the new test suite. The only thing I need to change is instead of starting browser, I need to start application and I have registered the coffee application. The rest of the test case code stays unchanged. Let's run our test case. To sum up what I demonstrated during this video, the dedicated package we provide is only used to make the Qt application testable on Qt for WebAssembly. Automating GUI tests for Qt for WebAssembly applications is similar to automating Qt application on other platforms. You can use the same great features that Squish provides, record and replay, rich selection of verification types, application spying and test debugging. Thank you for watching.